What's going on guys, Yankee Cowboy back for another video. Just wanna give you guys an update and show you guys some modifications I made to the Kimber KDS-9C. This gun's been fantastic. I'm just around maybe 700 rounds through it, somewhere around there. Uh, I've been running a ton of my reloads through it and uh, carry ammo, it's been running great, so no issues there. But I did do a couple little modifications to it, so we're gonna hop down on the bench and take a look. All right, so here we are with the Kimber KDS-9C. So what's the update? Well, two-part update. The update first is I'm around 700 rounds of my reloads and defensive ammo through this with no issues. This gun did come with a polished feed ramp and a polished uh, crown barrel. But what I did is I did a modification. I used flits and my Dremel and I polished this thing to a mirror. So now no issues with feeding any kind of ammunition because it hits that feed ramp and slides right in. That aids in feeding better um, versus a feed ramp that's not polished. In my opinion, over the years of shooting plenty of guns and working on them i know that a polished feed ramp will absolutely chamber around better than a non-polished one and again this one came pretty pretty good from the factory but now it's like a total mirror and once i strip it down and show you you guys will see that this is the crown barrel you can see that right now it's it's shining pretty darn good because that thing's polished like a mirror that's just more for aesthetics the polishing part the crown barrel does serve a purpose to protect it but we're going to strip this down and i'm going to show you guys the feed ramp Okay, so here's one of the main reasons why I bought this gun. I love the look of flutes on a barrel. I have a couple of rifles that are fluted, and to me, aesthetically, I just like the look of it. So again, this thing did come with a polished feed ramp, but I took it a step further, as you can see. This thing is like a complete mirror now. I also did the throat inside here, is all polished, as you can see. So this aids in chambering a hollow point much easier than if this was not polished. I've had guns in the past and shot plenty of guns over the years to know enough that if this isn't a polished feed ramp, when that hollow point hits it, it tends to gall up. And if you've got a, a magazine with a bad spring, it's just a recipe for disaster, trust me. So it's always best to have a nice polished feed ramp. It's not, you know, it's not gospel, but it doesn't hurt to polish a feed ramp. I think it totally aids in, in chamber and ammo reliably. And then the front is the crown barrel, which you can see here is all nice and shiny. You see the studio lights glimmering off of it. That's more for aesthetics, but the crown actually serves a purpose to protect the barrel. So that's done as well. But the main thing I want to do was really get this feed ramp and the throat polished out, which I did. Now, my question to you guys is, should I polish the rest of this barrel? Obviously, it would just be for looks, but I think it would look cool with the rest of it polished and leave these flutes just, you know, with that brushed look to it. But again, let me know what you guys think. I think, uh, I think it will look cool if I do it. It wouldn't take too long with that flitz and the Dremel. It does a really nice job on it. But that's what I'm thinking about doing, guys. I'm thinking about just polishing the rest of this and leaving these flutes with that brushed look. But I haven't quite decided on it yet. Let me know what you guys think on that one. All right, we're going to put this thing back together. All right, so it's back together. There's no mag in it. The gun is clear. And that was just a quick little look at what I did to the feed ramp and the crown barrel and an update on the rounds through it. So we're going to hop out for some final thoughts. All right, guys, so this is going to wrap up this video. Be sure to leave something down in the comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next one.